Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I have a haul for you guys. It's a collective makeup haul and also a few jewelry pieces that I recently got that I also want to show you. So I just want to thank Bobble Bar for working with me and sponsoring this video. So I'm going to show you some pieces from their site that I recently got and I'm also going to show you a ton of makeup because last week I was just under a lot of stress, you guys. And I was just really in need of some retail therapy and makeup retail therapy does just the best wonders for me in the world. So I'm going to show you all that stuff, but let's just get into it. So first off, I want to show you guys what Smashbox recently sent over. Smashbox recently came out with their Photo Finish Primer Oil. This is a brand new product. I don't even know if it's on the shelves yet, but it is brand spanking new, everybody. So basically, the primer oil, first off, let me just say that this baby has a good amount of weight to it. It is... It's heavy, like, geez, it's a heavy duty product. So basically, it's a super fast absorbing oil and you, it's recommended to mix it in with your foundation so that your foundation goes on a lot smoother. You could probably use less of the product and then it goes on a longer way. And it's supposed to leave a radiant and luminous finish to the skin. So I'm gonna try this out tomorrow. I'll probably do a first impression on my Snapchat. So, but by the time this video's up, that would have already been out. Then I also received the Photo Finish Foundation Primer along with the Light Foundation Primer. I don't really know what the difference is. Oh, the light one is for per, per, bleh. the light one is for oily and acne prone or sensitive skin. And then the regular one is just, you know, regular. Last thing from Smashbox is the primer water. I have been wanting to get my hands on this so badly. So I'm super excited that I now have it. I'm probably gonna use it. Oh no, if I, can I use both of these? Cause I want to. Before I get into the large hunk of the makeup haul, I think I should just take a little break and talk about what I got from Bubble Bar because there is so much makeup that we're gonna need an intermission. So this is the intermission, everybody. So basically, Bubble Bar is an online jewelry store where you can get amazing styles and they add new styles every week. There are so many to choose from, like hundreds to choose from, seriously. The prices all start at $28 and they also have free US shipping and returns. So if you get jewelry and you don't like it, it's chill girl, you can send it back if you live in the US. It's pretty bomb if you ask me. So I'm actually wearing two of the pieces that they sent me now because I've just been so obsessed with them, I like haven't really taken them off. And then I have another one to show you guys as well. And don't worry, all the pieces that I'm gonna talk about, if you guys actually go to bubblebar.com slash Tori, you'll see all the products that I'm talking about in this video. And if you guys use Tori at checkout, you'll get 25% off your entire order. I got you to hook up. You always know. It's what I'm here for, guys. Let's get on to the fabulous zone jewelry that I'm wearing and my little bra strap. Sorry about that. I'm a girl. It happens, okay? This is a statement necklace. I love statement necklaces. These are my fave. This one is a sterling silver set and it has pretty little jewels on it. And it feels very sturdy. The good thing that I really like about Bobble Bar jewelry is that it's very sturdy feeling. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break on you. And something else that I really look for in jewelry is that it's not gonna transfer onto my skin. Like sometimes when you get like cheap rings somewhere, it makes your skin green or your necklaces can turn your neck blue. I've been wearing this a lot and it hasn't turned my neck blue or green or any sort of color like that at all. So I really enjoy it. I think it's very sturdy and I think it's really cute. And then the other thing that I also got was this cute rose gold bracelet, which I made a little bit too big. Let me tighten that up real quick. So this is just a rose gold chained bracelet. I've been obsessed with rose gold. And the thing that I really like about this too is that it's studded with, um, it's not real diamonds, but it looks like diamonds, so it's really sparkly. So you can wear it with silver. It doesn't look too out of place. From like afar, it looks silver, but then you get up close and you're like, Oh my god, it's like a rose gold pink silver. Like it's really freaking cute. So it's adorable. I really like it. It totally dresses up an outfit. And you can make it super dressy, super cash, whatever your little heart desires. The last piece of bubble bar jewelry that I got was this long pendant necklace with a crystal looking pendant on the bottom. <laughs> I'm sure it's not a real crystal, but it looks like one. And this again is very sturdy and very long. I've been looking for a long statement type necklace that you can layer with a bunch of different necklaces for a while now and this one is the absolute perfect piece for that. I've worn this with so many other necklaces and they just layer together is beautiful. I've been obsessed with this. Again, it feels very sturdy, not like it's gonna break and very durable. So that's something that I always look for in my jewelry. So that's what I got at Bobble Bar. Now it's time for the makeup, which is the mother load because there is 
so much makeup, it's actually ridiculous. So I went to MAC, Sephora, and Makeup Forever. And you can get Makeup Forever at Sephora, but my mall just like has a Makeup Forever store. And you can get more stuff there, so I would just go there instead of the one at Sephora. I don't know. It's all just in this big bag, so I'm not going to go by store. I'm just going to kind of pull it out at random. Like I said, I have used some of these products already, so I can give a little review on some of them, but not all of them I haven't tried yet. So the first thing that I picked up was the MAC Studio Water Weight SPF 30 Foundation. This is a new product. I'm in the shade NW18, which is one shade darker than my skin tone. I always like to just go a little bit darker because I find that if I match my neck perfectly, I always look so white and so pale. It's just, it's, I'm like translucent. So this is supposed to look like skin. It's supposed to look super natural and matte. I love all of those things. I know I like a good highlight, but I don't like a dewy foundation, honestly, guys. I've always been one to never like looking oily. Like, I want to look highlighted and like popping where I want it to. I don't really like a dewy foundation. I've been using this every day since I got it, and I can honestly say it's a great, great foundation. I think it's around $33. Next up is the Makeup Forever One Step skin equalizer smoothing primer now this primer i bought because i would see everyone on youtube raving about it so i was like okay you know i'll give it a try when i went to go check it out the woman at the counter was like oh have you used this before and i was like mm, no like it's just the primer whatever she told me do not put this on your whole face because girl you're gonna hate it and i said well when you do that so basically what she told me to do is she said that I can put it on top of bare skin and just like leave it alone and you know not wear makeup and I'll just look nice and smooth. Or I can put it over top of my makeup and I was like, I don't really know about that. So basically in the store she let me use the tester, put it over top of my makeup and oh my god. Basically what you have to do is you warm it up on your skin. This is after you've done your makeup. You can put it on before. Uh, I did that in a tutorial where I will put it on my smile lines right before. But you really want to warm it up on the back of your hand and between your fingers. Just warm this baby up. Warm it up a lot because if you don't, it's going to smear your makeup everywhere and that's not what you want. So warm it up and then you dab it. Smile lines. I always put it right around my pores and I also put it right where my highlight goes to really make that area nice and smooth. It stays smooth, there's no creasing, the makeup doesn't budge. It's an amazing trick. She told me that if I put it on my entire face, underneath my makeup, my foundation would turn a different color. I'd slip and I'd slide everywhere. Like, it was just gonna be a mess and a half. I picked up a new Baby Don't Go blush by MAC because this is what I use a lot of the times as my transition shade when I'm tan, pale, whatever. It's just a nice brown with pinky undertones. It's a blush, but I don't use it ever as a blush. Oh gosh, I went crazy with glitters and pigments at the Makeup Forever store. So I got three, two of which are already owned by OCC, but I, if you guys have watched my videos, the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics glitters, I absolutely hate. I think they're horrible. So I hate showing them. I hate recommending them because I think they suck. But these, I've been liking. So I got Number 12, I got because I think it's super cute. It's like a fluorescent pink rainbow. I'm really into it. I can't wait to do a look with this. If I have time, I'm going to do a Valentine's Day look with it. I also got number 13, which is fun. It's a rainbow disco ball glitter. These are just, everyone needs a glitter like this. Like They're just fun staples to have. Oh, I'm really late to dinner. Oh my god, I was supposed to be there 10 minutes ago. I'm sorry, Dad. And then the last glitter that I got is a black glitter because I love black glitter. I don't know why. I'm just so obsessed with like shimmering black glitter and like you can't even really see the glitter in it because it's just black but like I don't I'm just so obsessed with it like it really just draws me in every time I just love black glitter I got this color I didn't need it but like look at it how can you not buy this when you see this I don't know when I'm ever gonna use it number 16 yeah and it's just a cobalt blue pigment and I'm just so obsessed with it I have to do a tutorial with this like look at it next to my eye Oh, God bless you. I picked up a new powder at MAC. This is the MAC Studio Sculpt Defining Powder in the shade Light. What's cool about this powder is that it's gel-based. And let me show you this. When you pick it up on a brush, your brush really doesn't get a lot at all. Um, it gets a very natural amount so that when you disperse it onto your skin, it looks super natural. But it really, it's like, let me show you it. 
on like a small eyeshadow brush when I had set this. Like you, just, it really like not much picks up. But if I were to use like, I don't have another powder next to me. Um, if I were to use like, this is a, this is a bronzer. If I were to pick up this. You know, pigmented, right? But that's since it's gel based, it really doesn't pick up too much product. I'm gonna back it up again. Because it's gel based, it really doesn't pick up a lot of powder and it stays on your skin a lot longer and it just gives your face a very smooth effect and I think it's gorgeous. I really do love it. I got a new concealer at Sephora. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I've realized something with my concealers. Under eyes, I hate yellow concealers, hate them. They need to have pink undertones, absolutely need to. So that's the thing I'm always gonna get now because um, I had the Maybelline one in number 15 and I loved it, the Fit Me Concealer, and then I got it in number 10 because 15 was out and it was yellow toned and I hated it. So I definitely like pink undertoned concealers for my under eyes. I think it just looks girly and beautiful on my complexion. You might like a yellow one yours, but I like a pink on mine. Last two things. Our lipsticks by MAC. I have just been in a lipstick fiend lately, which is so weird because I love lip gloss, but I wear a gloss over my stick, so it's whatever. These two I've been wearing like no other. The first one is what I'm wearing right now on my lips, and it's Snob by MAC. I actually wanted this in lip gloss form, and then I got in my car, and I was like, oh my god, wait, Snob is also a lipstick. Maybe I got the lipstick by accident. I got the lipstick by accident, and I was like, <laughs> Kind of upset, but I'm really happy because I've never been happier with the lipstick, I swear. It's just a Barbie pink, but very wearable and light. I think it's really cute for every day. It really just brightens up your look. And this is a satin formula, so it's hydrating to the lips. It's not gonna really dry them out. And then I also went in there wanting a new nude lipstick because I've been obsessing over Myth again by MAC, but it's just so Cheeto lips sometimes, and sometimes you just don't want that. So I got Flesh Pot, which is pink undertone nudes. I just love pink undertones. So it's pink undertoned and it just, it doesn't really look too pink undertoned. It looks kind of whatever. On my lips, it turns out like a great pinky nude, but very much so nude. Like it's just so, so flattering on my complexion, on my skin tone. So I really enjoy it, but I've just been really liking this. This is also a satin, I think. Yeah, it's a satin. So that is it for this makeup haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to check out the link in the description box down below for Bobble Bar if you guys want to check out any of the pieces that I'm wearing. Hope you guys all have an amazing day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye guys.